are the idiots who will take houses that other people are like, you're insane to touch that. My husband Kevin and I take in stray old houses and nurse them back to health. We've never met a historic house we didn't love. Now let's talk about how we're not going to take down this chain. But I think we have to. We take more of a preservation, rehabilitation focus, allowing the evolution of the home over time to show. Oh, how handy that the toilet is now located inside. These are all handmade, but that's part of what makes them look like they're 120 years old. Whether we sell them or turn them back into places that will serve their communities, each home will have an important purpose. We plan to make this an urban garden. No pressure. No pressure. Kevin's into building stuff. Woo! What's up, baby? It weighed 400 pounds, and who carried it in here? She, she womaned up. And I'm into detailed stuff. Dang. Y'all get dirty. Let's go to work. Sometimes pan restoration things go exactly like you want, and sometimes they go exactly like you don't want. This looks pretty dangerous, Kevin. I'm not going to lie to you. But we both love this. We open it up, and it has her engagement ring. And we think, is this isn't her husband. So, we dig deeper. We live far away from many of these houses <laughs> we're buying. We go glamping. Hot water heaters out. We have to bathe in coffee pot water. I don't know that glamping's the right word. We have Power craft compels you. <laughs> she'll be beautiful, but she'll have a purpose. I'm Kevin. And I'm Lane. And this is Restoration Rescue. We'd like to thank Neurohacker and their product, Qualia Synolytic, for sponsoring this video. Now, I know I've told you about Neurohacker before and their product, Qualia Synolytic. But what I haven't gone in depth on is what is a synolytic? Well, synolytic is a class of ingredients discovered less than 10 years ago. They're being called the biggest discovery of our time for promoting healthy aging and enhancing your physical prime. As we age, everyone accumulates senescent cells in their body. And senescent cells cause symptoms of aging, such as aches and pains, slow workout recoveries, sluggish mental and physical energy associated with that middle-aged feeling. Much like pruning the yellowing and dead leaves off of a plant, Qualia Synolytic removes those worn out senescent cells to allow for the rest of them to thrive in the body. And it does this by just taking it two days a month. So please take advantage of this offer and resist aging at the cellular level by trying Qualia Synolytic. Go to neurohacker.com slash restoration for up to $100 off and use code restoration at checkout for an additional 15% off. That's neurohacker.com slash restoration for an additional 15% off your purchase. And start aging on your terms. Welcome to Helena, y'all. We're in Helena, Arkansas, which sits right on the Mississippi River. We're on our way to our latest restoration project. That is another great house right there. I want that one. <laughs> Let's see how it goes with Helen, and then we'll buy that one. Here's Helen. Beautiful lady up on her hill. This one has probably got the most history of any for sure. home oh, for sure. we've ever owned. Yeah. This house was built in 1859, so shortly after the Civil War starts. In 1863, the Battle of Helena occurs. The Union officers garrison in this house. Then, then General Sherman comes through, and it's from Helena that he launches both the battles of Little Rock and the Battle of Vicksburg. And those two battles basically seal the South State in the Civil War. That strategizing, those plans were laid out on the dining room table in this house. We have a nation where everyone is considered free and equal because of the things that happened in this house. I feel privileged every day that we have the opportunity to bring her back to life and share her with not only the city and the state and the surrounding area, but future generations. We most frequently are contacted by people not related to the house. It's usually historical societies or even city governments. But this time it was really different. The grandchildren of the last owner reached out to us. Hey, hi. Welcome to Grandma's house. <laughs> Let's show you what we're going to do. Kevin okay, passed away about three years ago, and then it was bestowed upon the three kids. <laughs> what are we going to do with this old, decaying house that is not going to be cheap to restore? There's a process called historical demolition. Uh, not ideal. 
and I was just like, let's see what else we can do. Instagram. I went to Instagram. Instagram. I took seven photos and I sent those to Kevin the Lion. And she was yeah. like, we will buy it from you side so unseen. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> now that's a dramatic entrance. Of all the things we're gonna do in the house, we're gonna keep your grandmother's beautiful chandelier because I hear this was incredibly important to her and they shot for years to find each little crystal to oh fill it back gosh. up again. So here's our plan for the front parlor. You need to strip most of this paint. There's lead base under a lot of this. So we've got to strip the paint. Careful. But I don't want to lose her marbling. I love the marbling that she mm -hmm. did by hand on the baseboard. She did. I remember her doing this. Because, of course, with preservation, your goal is you really want to show how the house evolved over time and honor everybody who lives here. And to me, the fact that your grandmother, who was such a southern lady, yeah, got down on her hands and knees and yeah. painted these baseboards with tiny brushes. Unbelievable. And that's something I don't want to lose. This house is a family member. Our hearts are in this house. What was this room with Kathy? This was where we ate. There was a huge dining table, oriental rug, and the buffet was right here. Do you know the story of this wallpaper? I was digging in there. Don't oh. dig in there too much because <laughs> the green color that's in there, they used arsenic to make that. It's actually oh. called Paris Green. It really hit its popularity when this house was redone in the 1870s. Originally, these would have been double parlors for entertaining, so a formal parlor okay. and then a music room. So we think we're going to be transitioning back to its original use. Go to the family room? Let's go to the family room. Let's go to the family room. So what will the floor look like? Is this the original, so like, it's the, the color? Original, there's a mix in the house. We have a little bit of cypress, and then we have okay. a lot of heart pine. From what I understand, we have a really big patch at the base of the stairs from your father, father. sliding down the stair rail. We, I used to do that. We'll leave the patch. The people who lived here and the imprint that they left on these houses really do leave a personality in each of the structures. I don't want to live in the world oh, where no, this house is no. just a dirt plot. So look at this wallpaper. This is Victorian because it's all hand blocked. And then under that, there's even another layer. And in some point, this room was like magenta. The mysteries keep us going. I mean, they do. What your grandmother used as her bedroom, we're going to change back to what it used to be. So we'll show you that Ooh, in there. Sure. I know this is a special room with special paper and a special right. bed, but this was the original dining room. This was a dining room. The dining room. Here wow. in the wall, you can see where the doorway that went out to the original kitchen. Yes, wow. and we're gonna open this back up and then hopefully transform the original kitchen into the working kitchen oh. for the house. Kathy would be just over the moon. I couldn't even dream of this happening. It's so amazing. It's a huge uphill battle. We found someone willing to do it. To make this dream a reality, we're going to reopen the doorway that separates what would have been the original dining room from the current kitchen. Then we'll build a fully enclosed breezeway to the original kitchen, which back in 1859 was a separate structure from the house. Do we know if the fireplace good. works? It was painted over. Yeah. Not good for antique bricks, oh. so what's happening here is called spalling. So we have wow. brick and mortar loss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you have old brick, do not, do not paint, paint it. Your brick. That would be the only thing that would keep us from being able to actually fulfill our vision for this space and turn it into the kitchen is if we have too much loss of structural integrity for it to be safe space. So there is no plumbing and we're gonna put a kitchen and usually it's best to have plumbing with a kitchen. You know, that's been <laughs> my experience. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how much more do we really need? We have gas and electricity. Yeah. And I don't cook. We just need water. <laughs> This beautiful brick structure will be a fully functioning kitchen that looks like it should have been here since 1859. And dear Cabby's bedroom will transform back into a dining room as it was originally intended in the 19th century. When we finish this long project, we think its highest and best use is to find a buyer who actually lives in the city of Helena who can take over her stewardship for the next seven decades. <laughs> We do a lot of work ourselves, but there is a lot, a lot of work to do in a lot of these homes. So we bring in a lot of different people to help, but we have one constant, Chuck. And he is right there with me with most of the heavy stuff and the demolition. Mm -mm. All of our old houses make noises. Old houses make noises. They creak, they pop, they they're moan. affected by the wind. But every time a Chuck is like, what, what was that sound? What was that sound? Careful. This looks pretty dangerous, Kevin. I'm not going to lie to you. The whole ghost thing 
noises and old cricks and cracks and stuff. You know, the first one, I'll let it pass, you know, just saying hi. But it's three or four times, we gotta go. The outside has a ton of work to do. There's mold, there's rotten wood, there's vines coming through it. I mean, you name it, this house is probably has it. The magic that's gonna happen in this house is something I'm excited about. First thing we've got to do is bust down that wall so we can make a path for the new kitchen. It's going to make you so happy. That's happy. happy. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. We got to open this door. We're going to put it back where it originally was, but it's kind of a mystery. I think the best way to do it, Lane's idea, was to take off this baseboard. A baseboard is going to give us some clues. I want to start there, but I do want to take off the whole thing because I suspect that this is actually two patches. We want to do this delicately. We don't want to yeah. destroy this because we're most likely going to reuse this baseboard and always need more baseboard and don't want to have it milled. Well, there's your patch right there. there it is. is this the fun part now? <laughs> Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> we're we're going to have to bring Lane in now. Yeah. Lane, come see this. What'd you find? Surprise. Look at all our wallpaper. I know. I thought you'd like that. Oh. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, and then you've got a, at least one more layer underneath. I know. One more layer. Yeah. Dang. But this has been closed up a long time, I guess. It's going to be real, real messy to take Perfect. out. So yes. We're going to have to cut it again. Y'all get dirty. Goodness, this looks hard. Yeah. Woo! I know there's some little mouse or a rat that's going to just come out of one of these little cubby holes that said, hey, I've been here for a while. Ooh, got a uh, few critter uh, poops up there. <laughs> well, guess what? I'm sorry, Mr. Rat. You're going to have to find somewhere else to live because we're coming in and you're going to have to move. I didn't ask for any uh, chocolate drops in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. One, two, three. That's what I'm talking about. We'll see how many punches it takes to get okay. through. Uh, you're sure there's not I, a cabinet it's... on the other side. <laughs> are you setting me up right now? I got nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose. Look how much I bigger you are than I me. I got you. Playing as a kid, you know, your mom tells you, don't you better not put a hole in my wall. One, One two, two, three. three. Oh! No! Literally punching a hole through a wall fulfilled my childhood dreams. Oh, what's up, baby? Hi, gentlemen. <laughs> so first time in 90 years we've got this open? Exactly. Yeah. Welcome. Dude. And this was the door that got walked through daily, you know, yep. and, and it just got closed up. It's a start. Step one. Now you get to come around here. You're going to take this cabinet off. It's like a name doorway to my new kitchen. Yes, ma'am. She wins. Does she ever not win? <laughs> The mayor comes by and talks about how important this house is to the community and to the city and to the state. You're going to get me misty out here in a minute. We do have an inordinate amount of work to do. No pressure. No pressure. There are very few of these mantles left. These can go for as much as $15,000. My secret to clean mantles? Dental tools. Old dictionary. It's got all the words. <gasps> I did not break it. Uh, I did not break it. You got to be some good stuff, right? right? Oh my gosh, Kevin, you are never gonna believe what's up here. What? <laughs>